this new 5G network that's rolling out, that is analogous to a massive microwave that's going to be all around us. I started to experience headaches, ringing in the ears, insomnia, and a fatigue and brain fog that I'd never experienced before. People who had a normal life, and then over a short period of time, went to where they could no longer work, where they could no longer go to an office. Some of them actually have had to move out of their homes because they can't be in an environment which is normal now for most people. 5G has been the focus point of numerous conversations, especially because a significant part of the internet users have completely rejected the idea of this new generation of data technology. It all started with the 3G, which afterwards advanced to 4G. And now, the 5G version is more and more visible at the horizon. It is crucial to understand what this technology really implies, so that decisions on how its features are helpful or not can be accordingly made. The notion behind 5G has two sides, which are thought to be both useful and destructive. A clear advantage of this new generation of processing data is owned by the increased bandwidth, which allows people to access more space when using data to either download files, explore internet pages, or watch videos. Additionally, users will be able to do more with their devices because expanded bandwidth will make them more versatile than ever before. 5G will grant users more access to a larger part of the network, and so their smart devices will run much faster. As the saying goes, with every up comes a down. You can search the web with real and organic search results and do it without anyone tracking your activity or data. We ourselves use Atlas VPN to protect our data online, Atlas VPN is more than just any other VPN. It blocks all malicious links, ads and trackers and notifies you when someone is trying to spy on or steal your data. If you want to grab Atlas VPN, they have a great deal going on right now for just $1.70 a month and six months extra for free. We've provided a link in the description you can use to grab this deal. Try it out with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Not only does it protect your data, it also keeps your searches completely private. Also, protect unlimited devices at once. No limits are set. One subscription only for the best price. That's why we use Atlas. Oh, did we forget to mention it saves you a lot of money booking online? It's that easy. Grab Atlas VPN using the link in the description and secure your data today. I encourage you to start researching this for yourselves. If you simply Google EMF research, this is a screenshot of what you'll find. The World Health Organization is the first link there, and they actually in 2011 came out and said, this wireless technology is possibly carcinogenic. Now there's scientists around the world that say that it's most likely carcinogenic. Here is the scientists who have not wanted the implementation of 5G, September 13th, 2017. That time it was 180 scientists. That number has now grown considerably I don't know exactly how many scientists, but a total of 208,000 people have signed it, of which I think about over a thousand are scientists and doctors. Recommend a moratorium on the rollout of the 5G telecommunications until potential hazards, human health and environment have been fully investigated by scientists independent from the industry. Radio frequency electromagnetic fields have been proven to be harmful for humans and the environment. Several reports on 5G indicate that data will be transmitted in the range of around 6 gigahertz. As this frequency is already crowded by other signals, like satellite links, the way people will be able to transmit their data at this frequency becomes questionable. However, one of the most discussed adversity with the 5G technology is linked to how it will impact, or not, our health. Science shows that we're all affected on some level, whether we can feel it or not. Our bodies are electric. Every cell in our body communicates using tiny electric signals. It's how our nervous system operates. So to think that we could put an exponential amount of microwave radiation into our environment and not feel effects is simply false. Professor Andrew Wood, part of the multi-institutional Australian Center for Electromagnetic Bioeffects Research, believes that one of the main biological effects of electromagnetic radiation is the rise in temperature. Other concerns are related to much more subtle effects, dealing with how long-term exposure to such radiation can trigger the development of certain types of cancer. 
There is enough data to support the fact that the physiological effects of electromagnetic radiation can change with frequency. This has resulted in significant re-evaluation of the international radiation safety guidelines. In fact, it is strongly believed that there is enough data for a meaningful risk assessment. Professor Wood explains that when the frequency goes up, the depth of penetration into the biological tissues goes down. Therefore, a great concern in regard to health is put on the skin and eyes rather than the brain. There is, therefore, an important amount of attention that we need to pay to how 5G radiation can affect our health. The millimeter waves that 5G operates on have very large wavelengths and very small frequencies. This makes the 5G signal weaker whenever you find yourself near a tree or when you drive behind a building. To overcome such natural and man-made obstacles, base stations and cell towers are placed at shorter distances so that a ubiquitous atmosphere of RF signals is created around us all the time. Health experts such as Dr. Joel Moskowitz from the University of California explain that such ubiquitous millimeter waves can trigger skin, eyes, and nervous system health issues. As these radiations come in contact with the skin, the capillaries and nerve endings in the derma can biotransmit them through molecular mechanisms to the nervous system. Those who are more exposed to danger are the elderly, kids, and pregnant women. Fortunately, there are several tips you can use to protect yourself from 5G radiations. A good one to start with is to distance yourself from phones, computers, routers, and other such devices. Try as much as possible to keep your body away from them, especially when you're sleeping. Place your phone in your bag instead of carrying it around in your pocket. Another useful trick is to use an EMF measuring device. This might seem like too much. But imagine when all those additional cellular towers will appear everywhere. This EMF measuring device is helpful to identify the intensity and areas of high radiation near you. This helps to better organize yourself and minimize as much as possible your exposure to RF radiation. EMF shields are another useful tool to use so that RF radiation does not harm your body too much. These are actually EMF cases for your phone, routers, computers, and even TVs that are thought to minimize the impact of radiations by up to 92%. While these cannot provide you with as much protection as they claim to, they will, however, minimize the RF effects. A different tip to help you better cope with 5G radiation is keeping yourself updated with the news regarding its evolution. This technology keeps on evolving on a daily basis, and it is by far one of the biggest pieces of news of this decade. Therefore, keep up with everything new that comes out regarding 5G so that you're up to date and educated in this regard. Make your own research on how 5G develops and how you can protect yourself from the health hazards associated with this data technology. The future is quite uncertain, but the 5G technology is sure to be a part of our lives more sooner than later. While it does bring along some advantages, it is important to also look after the effects that this tool can have on our lives.